I graduated in 2010 in biomechanics, but I always had a strong interest in photography, so I wouldn't say that it was a sudden decision. After graduation, I, I asked myself what I want to really do in my life, so I decided to dedicate a certain amount of time to my personal photographic practice, and since then I never really questioned that decision. Uh, one of the first projects I worked on was in Japan and it was an investigation of the Japanese megalopolis so a strip of land that goes between Kobe, Osaka, Nagoya and Tokyo and it's one of the most densely populated areas in the world so it's a place where the possibilities of interconnection with others are extremely high but at the same time there is a strong feeling of isolation so and, and this type of approach to the environment and society became uh, one of the main interests of my photographic practice. The move to Hong Kong was a family decision. We wanted to live in uh, a place that culturally was in between the East and the West, but also at the same time, uh, Hong Kong is a perfect place to continue my personal photographic projects being uh, one of the mostly densely populated uh, city in the world. Hong Kong has one of the highest number of skyscrapers in the world, so which means uh, that there are certain areas in, in the city where at a certain time of the day the only available lights on the ground comes from uh, reflected light and this brings a series of problematics in human health in terms of lack of vitamin D, um, depression. So I wanted to, to make a project about it. Because of the nature of the light, reflected light that is very dramatic and theatrical, I decided to maintain a, a, an aesthetically driven approach for the project. So I will go around town looking for those areas and places where at a certain time of the day you will have a, a better lighting conditions. I moved to Hong Kong in 2014 and it was the, the very beginning of the Umbrella Revolution. At that time students have occupied the main areas of the city centre. Um, trying to demand for a truly universal suffrage. Between the end of the Umbrella Revolution and the beginning of the protests of last year in 2019, there were a long period of calm in which uh, very little happened, but there are, are those moments where you could really breathe the city as it is, with all this problematic. And in a way, I, I'm interested in those moments equally, both uh, dramatic and, and quiet. And my intent with the project was to draw a portraiture of Hong Kong, combining uh, its current identity crisis with uh, my own personal experiences. The title, uh, When I Feel Down, I Take a Train to the Happy Valley, is because uh, in uh, Hong Kong Island there is a tram line. One of the final stops is called Happy Valley. It's simply a neighborhood of Hong Kong. But when, during those moments when you feel a little bit overwhelmed by the weight of the city, you will see a tram headed to the Happy Valley, and this in a way provides hope. I usually don't like to offer very literal and direct uh, images to describe uh, real events. I'm more interested in looking for um, situations and images that do provide more questions than answers. Uh, in a way, they are almost like uh, metaphors of modern living. And um, especially with 2019 protests where there was a... Um, have a real abundance of, of, of protest images. I wanted to find a different approach, something that it was uh, still documentary practice, but it, it could add the different layers of understanding. Hong Kong, like uh, other mega cities, has a, a quite uh, overwhelming and claustrophobic architecture. 
and you really feel the weight of the, of the city on your own shoulders. And with my images, I try to look for those situations and places that do really reflect these feelings. They are not only a simple documentation of, of living condition in modern city, but also a reflection on my own experiences. Several of my projects are still ongoing, and in a way I like to keep them that way. I always found it fascinating to find uh, differences. I tend to go to the same places over and over, and specifically looking for those differences. Something that uh, at the first look you may not see, but when you get familiar with a place and with an idea, you, you, you are able to find modification and differences. So, in a way, I, I try to keep my project ongoing as much as possible. The Instagram pier is an industrial cargo pier in, on the west side of Hong Kong Island and is known among the population as the Instagram pier. So people will go there to make photographs and selfies and then post it on the platform. And a few years back, I started to create the Instagram account of the Instagram pier in order to find a way to connect directly with other Instagrammers. I always had a strong interest in uh, social media and self-representation and this place became the perfect place to do so. Um, on a daily basis, different people come together to create and recreate the same imagery that I've seen already on the platform. And it became, uh, in a way, a portraiture of a modern city.